Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. So we're gonna talk about this full moon ritual, okay, in Aquarius. Um, there's so many reasons why I'm doing this and how it's linked to the new moon ritual we just did. I will tell you, I'm only gonna do this one full moon one this time around in between the new moon ones, okay, because it's it has a lot to do with the last one being in summer solstice too, okay. Um, you are gonna have to partake in this more. Um, this time around but a moon ritual is all about you know cleansing especially you know sacred areas cleansing yourself this full moon ritual okay um, please excuse me if I say new moon versus full all right because I tend to do that but this ritual <clears throat> is important it's important to do it without judgment okay um, the moon amplifies the energy so especially with the intentions or whatever it is you, you want to go on. Um, for me, it's the energy that just it builds and it builds until it's explosive and you, you just you can't take it. But this is actually a good thing because it allows you to take action, right? It's, it's, it's transforming energy. Um, <clears throat> there's different ways you can do it. <clears throat> Last time I had you light um, a candle. Um, this time I'm going to have you light a floating candle. Some people do, do, um, fire casting. All right. Um, that is basically, you know, writing down what it is that you want to get rid of. Okay. And writing it on a stick and throwing, throwing it into a fire. Full moon, um, works with the element of fire. Okay. Um. That's, for those who don't know, that's why we light candles and burn. But this time around, you know, you're going to need a floating candle, a large bowl of water, um, <clears throat> matches, because there's something with, with matches versus a lighter, <clears throat> pen and paper, right? And it's like writing down one thing that's maybe unhealthy for you, um, or one thing you have hopes of. All right. Um, it can be as simple as, you know, asking the spirits, you know, you want to change your behavior or you want to shed um, your old skin. All right. You want new skin, that type of thing. Um, I will tell you, I will be doing um, a video that will be 10 days of energy. OK. Um, and quickly, I'm going to do a little spread of, of some things we should be releasing and working on. Because the new moon's all about new intentions, right? The full moon is, is releasing what no longer serves you. But I, I want you guys to start this in a very simple way. In a burning candle, I want you to leave the candle in the bowl until it burns out by itself, okay? It's a it's a transformation. It takes time, okay? Um, so that's how I'm going to have you guys do it this time this time around um oh, Finny is laughing hold on I'm gonna let him in so sorry Sorry about that. No one's home. Well, I think my dad's about to walk through the door, but Finny was on the porch sunbathing. Can't, can't have him get too much sun. He's a dog. He's a dog. So, um, there's, so what I was saying is 10 days of energy. Okay. Um, that's what we're going to work on and read and go through. Um, that I think is, you know, very important. Um, there was something else I wanted to talk about. We'll talk about it for the next couple of days and we'll do our own reading. But what, I, what I'm going to do is I do my full moon rituals. I'm going to just include you in it. I do it a lot more. I have an altar. I have, I have all my elements there. Um, and then I'm going to picture each and every single one of you under a protection. Under protection. So no one else's energy gets the best of yours. Okay. Um. I know a lot of people love the new moon ritual, certain things coming in. You want to keep that energy going. Certain things didn't come in in hopes. You know, it's all about your vessel, too. We talked about this today. Um, this is linked to the mental and physical health video that I did today. Um, that definitely 
you know, partakes. So um, it will be available for you to purchase. You can go to the description box below and to benefit our channel, you can put in the $10. I'm going to start this now so that way you guys have a few days to watch the video. Also, um, the video will go out on the 10th. Okay, so it's going to be, you know, a few days before and a few days after that video. It'll probably be a lengthy video, but it would be worth it. Go back in, watch it, understand what it's really telling you. So I'm going to throw you really a couple cards right now um, on some of the things that it might just ask you to, to work with. What's important for this Aquarius full moon? What's important to release? Okay, so listen. So we got the hermit. Okay, so it's the voice of light. So it's almost like that. A lot has to do with your heart chakra, but releasing whatever is is pretty much holding your soul back. Not necessarily saying it could be saying for those who are isolating. You know, you definitely need to get out of the isolation isolation zone. You know, when you overthink, it's it's not good. Okay, but this is, you know, getting tuned with your soul too. Okay, um, releasing what what is no good for your soul. We got the Ace of Wands. That's telling me temptation. Okay, and it's the root of the of the. The power is the fire. It's the root of the fire, right? We were just talking about that, especially with fire casting and why we do full moons. But, see, this is... It's, it's going back and forth in my head, right? Um, if this is all about releasing, this one is not, Okay. So I'm basically doing it the opposite way. This is how it's going to help. And I wanted to do it the other way, but apparently they have it their way. <laughs> okay. Um, so X out exactly what I said. What this is asking you to do is soul search. You really got to get in, into this ritual. You really got to get in tuned. Okay. They they want you to have that that inspiration, that that epiphany. To me, this is the root of the fire. Okay. Um, it's, it's inspiration. Okay. So once you soul search, you get that little epiphany, you get that desire, you get that passion back. You have to go after it. It's so important, right? So this can give you little clues on what it is you need to write down on your piece of paper. What's going to be benefit? What's going to be beneficial, please? This can, I don't want these two, but it's the chariot and the seven of wands. Let's see if it comes back out. This is this little video right here can be very helpful for what it is you need to write on a paper because if you're really soul searching and you really you, you need to find that passion again because what this is telling me is you're going to have to release something that you're no longer probably passionate about, something that doesn't serve you. You want the passion back. You want to feel that that feeling, that passion, that fire in your soul again on whatever it is you're doing for, for work or love, right? So something needs to be released. Something's, you know, probably holding you back, okay? And we pulled the Eight of Swords. So this is another beneficial thing that's happening because it's getting you out of illusion, okay? It's going to help you with that short fuse that some of you guys have right now because there is lack of passion. So that means some of you need to release anger, whatever it is regarding that's going on in your life that's making you angry or making you feel trapped. Okay, but this is getting in tuned with mind, body, spirit, your soul, finding your passion again, releasing what no longer serves you, especially if there's temptation here. Whatever's keeping you back right now, giving you that anxiety, you got to release it. That especially illusionary energy, and it's funny because I, I keep seeing the Nine of Cups on the board and it's not, so it, it's... It is, some people are in illusionary energy. That's going to subside with Mercury going direct, which I believe is tomorrow, which takes a couple days to kick in, right? So so let's see if we can get one more, the, the benefits of this full moon. 
An Aquarius ritual we're gonna do, please. Okay, and you got the three of wands. Okay, so it's it's gonna establish strength, which is a, a beautiful thing. Okay, so this ritual, what it's going, how it's going to be beneficial for you, is you're now gonna start really soul searching, researching, especially whatever it takes, especially if that has to do with health, right? Mental, physical health. Go watch that video. Getting your passion back, having the desire, getting yourself out of situations that seem uh, illusionary, the things that we feel trapped and you no longer are. It's going to be beneficial, right? It's You're going to gain your strength through this ritual. It is going to strengthen you. It is going to inspire you. It is going to have you start researching stuff that you never thought you'd probably research before. Getting yourself out of situations that you no longer have the desire to deal with. Okay, moving forward, <clears throat> tell me about the Hermit real quick. So once again, you're going to get the energy through August 10th to August 20th, okay, which is 10 days, again, $10, there's that 1010, the void is open. I'm going to have you do the burning candle versus the casting the casting over the fire um let's see so we got the high priestess okay so this this high priestess is linked to the silver star um it just depends on how you know your zodiac but um this is also your intuition is telling you there's something you should be researching or your intuition is going to kick in okay and you're going to start heavily researching and it could be linked to your future. So what's m mostly important here is getting yourself out of that illusionary energy of, of being stuck. And it starts it starts with you. Once again, please go watch that video. Tell me about the Ace of Wands, the health and physical and mental health video I did. <clears throat> we have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so it's getting you out of a cycle. It's, it's putting you in a cycle of passion, um, inspiration, epiphany moments. Um, it, it's fantastic. It's, it's legitimately getting out of you out of a cycle. And we've got three major arcana to kick it off. Okay, When the wheel comes out, it talks about cycles. A lot of people are like, oh, luck is on my side. Yes, luck is on your side once you start recognizing and releasing. Okay, Another reason why we're doing this ritual. You're about to get out of a cycle that you are no longer content in, if you choose to. But you have to partake because it's, it's a wheel, right? It goes around and around and around. But this wheel is going to be beneficial. It's going to give you that force, that drive to go after, desire, to let go of things that, that keep you blogged or bogged down, right? So, yeah, see at the bottom of the deck, Ten of Wands. So it's it's... It's beneficial. I mean, this is common sense, too. This is what full moons do. They release this stuff, okay? But this is what the ritual we're going to be doing, all right? <clears throat> Tell me about the Eight of Swords. And the tower came out, but I didn't even want to get there yet. <laughs> okay. But, um... It, it's, it's the host of all of this energy. You know, it's, it's the universe making sure that this no longer is part of your life. It's actually beautiful. <clears throat> Tell me about the three of wands. This is going to get you on your path, on your future. It's also going to give you, it's going to strengthen you. Um, three of wands, please. And then you got the seven of cups, okay? So it's going to bring in success. It's going to bring in options it's going to bring in something for you to tackle it is going to get you out of illusionary success okay and i know that may seem harsh but it's the truth it's, it's going to establish strength for you so that way you know how to pick and choose you know yes from no right from wrong ups and downs no confusion you pick one thing you stick to it it's one of those things Okay, 
um, tell me about the Seven of Cups real quick. Because it just it came out so quick. So, be a one Seven of Cups, please. And with this video, I want you to, um, I am going to tell you which, um, you know, the Ten of Wands reverse, which is great. It's getting you out of the, the oppression stage. It's, it's getting you out of this cycle. Okay. Um, and with the Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck, all right, it's, it's choosing one thing. It's like a, a list of priorities, not necessarily perfecting them, but stabilizing the right type of energy and which is great because then the devil's reversed over here so <clears throat> um <clears throat> i just got sidetracked oh i want you to you're gonna have to purchase a floating candle um also if you if you don't have that you can just take a, a candle right and and take a, a knife and go with it and get the wick and make a circle and you can do that too you don't have to necessarily go out and buy it right away um, but there is essential oils that I'm going to want you to purchase um, clary sage is always a great oil but there is um, an oil essential oil that I want you to grab it's from Indonesia it's a flower it's Y-L-A-N-G Y-L-A-N-G essential oils okay it's, it's a yellow flower and it's it's from Indonesia um, it has so many beautiful aspects to that one particular oil it, I'm, I'm talking that the the health benefits I mean everything um, let me just google it for you right now there's just the the amount of benefits this one particular oil has um, let me touch your oils. Okay. It also relieves stress, pain, reduces inflammation, improves your mood, enhances your libido. In addition, it's a, it's a, um, it can heal, it can, um, demolish scars. I didn't even know that one. Um, <clears throat> there's so many different things that kill certain bacterias. Um, it increases sexual desire. Okay. Um, please, please Google it. It does smell, um, it's, it's a floral smell. I will tell you, I believe it's this, this particular oil is found in Chanel number no. five. Okay. And I believe it was gel joy perfume that I researched before, but I think those two essential oils, you know, you can go on Amazon and purchase those. Um, and it's starting little like that. It's, it's even the smell. Okay, like people have a hard time motivating, seeing good in something, especially depending on where you're at, right? This type of smell can wake you up in the morning. You, can, you stick it on certain, you know, notes. And it, I'm, I'm telling you, it's it's amazing. So for those who need that little bit of boost, I, I am going to recommend that essential oil. Okay. Um... So this looks this looks good. I am gonna talk about the essential oils more <clears throat> in the video that will be available for purchase. Okay, um, that's why it's gonna come out on the tenth. It will give you six days. You can overnight it from Amazon in twenty four hours on Prime. Okay, or you can go into a store. Um, but I. I'm trying to help kickstart, you know, um, your soul. This is why we're doing this, okay? So for those who have a hard time dieting or doing this or having a hard time finding energy, having a hard time getting motivated, this tiny little bottle that's probably <laughs> seven bucks, three bucks, depending on the ounce, right, can completely change your day. So I'm going to start helping you you know, get to where you need to be taking simple steps because I know how hard it is to just drastically change things. So this is why we're going to do things in, in simple. We're going to take it back to old school, simple methods. Okay. So I love you guys. Once again, you can go in and purchase the video. It will be $10. It will say to benefit our channel. And 
you will get the video on the 10th. I'm sure from now and then I will add things into the video because it's, it's what I do and we need to make this one completely ex extremely beneficial for you in, in the most simple way so you see improvement in your life because that's what I want and if it starts with a scent then it starts with a scent and just like that your days can get better okay I love you guys so much I'll see you tomorrow and thank you always for supporting um, our channel and supporting me with these rituals and, and supporting yourself in, in the community okay in the collective and in, in spirit and in mother nature and mama moon you know um, it's powerful and, and power feels good <laughs> I love you guys bye